What's up guys? This is Kenny O from Mahalo.com and um, this is more on our Spongebob series and we've been drawing everything. We've drawn pretty much every single character. We've drawn uh, the insides of the houses. We've drawn the Krabby Pad. Well, we haven't drawn the Krabby Patty. Maybe you should do that. I mean, if you're doing everything Spongebob, let's do a Krabby Patty. But we're not going to do a Krabby Patty. We're going to draw the Chum Bucket, which is Plankton's little spot. And I got a little thing for you guys. I'm going to magically make you better at drawing. No, I'm not, but I actually can magically make you better at drawing, but you just gotta practice. And I'm pulling out this wand because some people have called me a nerd. And yeah, I'm a nerd, but hey, I embrace it. That's right. You know what I'm saying? I'm calling you out, everybody. I don't mind. Say I'm a nerd, but you know what? Because I know I'm cool. All right. And you gotta know that you're cool. So with that said, let's get started. I just want you guys to know that. So if anyone calls you a nerd, you'd be like, whatever. You just wish you were me. That's all. You wish you could like like Harry Potter. So we're gonna go ahead and draw this bucket. It's pretty easy to draw. It's kind of like a cup. And then we're just gonna come down. Then we're gonna add a little bit of the walkway coming to the chum bucket, which nobody ever goes to. Sometimes I feel bad. Like I I would I want to eat at the chum bucket, but not really because that food looks nasty. Oh, you know. But uh, poor plankton, man. And you know, Plankton and Crabs used to be good buddies. So we're just rounding this out a little bit right here. And this is our construction line. So if we look at the chum bucket, man, that's not, it's a messed up bucket. So we're gonna make these lines. And come up. There we go. We'll do the same thing for over here. Come out, come back in, come back out, come back in. There we go, guys. Then we're just going to bring this line down. Oh, actually, yeah, we'll bring it down just a little bit. It's going to make the walkway a little shorter, but that's okay. But there we go. And then from there, from the walkway, we can just add those doors. So we're going to come up, do a line up. Remember, square, guys. You can draw a square. If we break down everything to simple shapes, it's going to make it a lot easier for us to draw because um, that's what we do. Like. If we can break down an object to a bunch of squares and all that stuff and we get the basic figure down, it's not, it's, uh, you're halfway done, you know? And we can just transform that into an awesome drawing. So, you know, I'll add some lines right here. I'm gonna probably throw in some chalk in this video. But uh, in case you're wondering, this is the first video you watch. I'm using a program called Art Rage. It's a great program for art and, um, you know, illustration. It looks like I'm drawing on paper, guys. Let's really zoom in there. See that? I mean, if you saw that, it looks like, you know, drawn on a cool piece of paper. So we got the chum bucket down. Let's draw the portholes up here. Little rectangles right there. All right, we're doing good. And then, so from right here, since it's on the floor, we really kind of want to darken the line up. And then add another crack right here. And Come over here. There we go, guys. We're looking good so far. We got most of the chum bucket down. And the chum bucket has a handle. So it comes up. Because it is a bucket, after all. And what was your favorite episode that had plankton in it, guys? I'd like to know. In the comment section. Or you can uh, let me know on Mahalo Design on Facebook. Let me know. Let's talk about SpongeBob and drawing there. I'd love to talk, as you can tell. Most people say my videos. I don't know. So we got that down. Now let's map out the fist. So we're going to come over here, draw a line. That's where the top of the fist is going to be. And it kind of has like a little wrapper kind of thing. Like it's a, kind of like a glove. So we're going to bring that out. I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger. There we go. We can always adjust our drawings, guys. Bed drawing. So do not worry about that. So then we're going to come here and just make a nice square. And then from there, we're gonna draw a line right here in the middle and we're gonna make wavy, crazy lines. Come diagonally over here, come straight down, come around, bring it around town, bring it around town. So we got the thumb right there and then the fingers are kind of easy. We're just going to come and draw a line right here. 
Do the same thing right here. Make this come just a little bit lower. And then we're going to draw another line right here. And one last one right there. And then we're just going to follow, draw some lines right here. And this will be in shadow when we draw the chumba. So we'll come over with our pencil and just do some diagonal hatching right there. And then from here, we're just going to add those crazy wavy lines. And like I said in SpongeBob, everything is kind of wavy. It is kind of under the sea. And uh, when I was working on the video game, you know, all the, there's like nothing but panels and, and crazy wavy lines. And we're going to come over here. Make sure we kind of sh really show that this is diagonal. And so let's add here. So we're going to come up here, make some small kind of U shapes or wave shapes, you know, like we used to draw when we were a kid. When we drew the ocean. So come down there, add those lines. And then we're going to come here and add just a little bit of shading, like in between the fingers and stuff like that. Now I'm going to add some shading under right here. So follow me with the cross. There's some diagonal line action going on right there. And looking good. Got the bucket handle. And let's go ahead and add the bucket. Let's go to the front here. Add an arc. Then we're going to bring it out, coming around a little bit. And do the same. Let's go parallel with the first one. Then, there we go. We're looking good. We got the bucket down. And let's draw uh, the horizon line back here. I'm going to draw a tiny little plankton right here, but it's going to not be that tiny, but it is kind of because I'm zooming in. So I'm going to draw a line of action. Remember, plankton is kind of like a bean or like a pickle. I'm going to draw that big old eye. And remember his eyebrow. Got another little eye right there. Draw a teeny tiny plankton. And he's yelling at crabs. Oops, some do. And the little antennas. And there we go. Let's check that out. <laughs> yeah, that's about the right size. Ah, and he's mad. So with that said, let's go ahead and start putting in the text. Now, I'm not the greatest at text, but I'll give you a little secret of how to do some text if we're drawing. We even map that out, kind of. But even the chum bucket um, is kind of, you know, it's kind of the text is kind of off. So we're going to come here. Like, remember in high, like in elementary school, kind of make that touch both lines. But that necessarily doesn't happen with all the letters in the chum bucket. You know, sometimes the little H, I know, is a little bit smaller. And come around. There we are. Now the U, I know the U is going to touch this top line right here. You know, yeah. uh, definitely my favorite Plankton episode has to be where they switch lives. And uh, what? It's just a regular Krabby. Oh my goodness! Uh, best one ever. That is literally the funniest moment in SpongeBob. What? It's just a regular Krabby. Oh my goodness! There's an eyeball on the Krabby Patty. Such an awesome show. Steve Hillenberg, if I ever met you, I'm going to give you a high five for making probably one of the best cartoons ever made. You know, it's just um, to show that you can be, you know, four years old or 40 and watch it. I'm not 40, but it's along the horizon. It's coming up. Not anytime soon, because I'm young.
So it's going to have this B. And the C is going to be like a capital C. It's going to look just like our other one. But luckily for us, the uh, plankton is kind of a, a messy guy. So we don't have to make these letters look perfect. You know, we can make them look ugly. Like my sweater. Now I think my sweater is dope. Let's do this E. And then the T looks like it's just barely added on. And there we go. We have the chum bucket. And then we can come here. And um, I'm going to go grab probably my chalk. Digital chalk, by the way. You can use real chalk if you want, if you have it. And uh, yeah, that's the way it's going to be. So we got that. And then I'm going to go ahead add this little dark right here. Let's add some bubbles, shall we? Because there's always a lot of bubbles. And we're going to add a rock right here. So we're going to do C motion right here. And then just come here. Add some lines right there, like this little rock is in the ground. Then we'll add some flowers on this rock. And then go back to those bubbles. Just add some circles. You can draw a couple circles in the circle. Draw some small circles. little small ones in there because it is under the sea yeah look at that we got some bubbles going on over there um, we can add some little mountains in the background and just kind of shade those in but yeah looking pretty rad Add another little rock. We'll add another little indentation right there. Real easy to do. Just kind of come around, make an arcing shape and another ar upside down arcing shape. And we can put some lines right here. A little bit of lines just to make it look like that this is in the sand. Uh, shade this up just a little bit. Do some shading around here too. Kind of the same way. I'm getting real sketchy now um, definitely guys if you let's say you bought this app or you know you or you're watching it on our website um, you know and you're doing it on a piece of paper that's great but I recommend later on getting this uh, getting art rage because I'm probably going to teach you how to turn this into a painting and we're gonna paint it with some oil paints and palette knife and make it look really cool and artistic so we're gonna come around here but we're just about done I wonder what else we can do um, we can put in maybe a little bit of under sea life right here. So just come up, around, up and around, up and around, up and around, just to give our drawing a little bit more life. And then, yeah, like I said, I was gonna do, grab my charcoal, and um, well, I'm gonna start with pencil first. It's kind of nice when you mix them both. So we're gonna draw through that, just go back and forth a little bit, come here. Yeah, let me make that crack a little better. And I'm going to lighten up almost the whole thing, leave a little bit of highlights, grab my charcoal. And what's cool, too, about this Cintiq is, um, or even a tablet, you can go really light and, you know, and there's lots of sensitivity in this. So when you draw, you know, it's just like in real life. If you press really light, you know, you're going to get a really light, really light line. And then I'm going to come over here with my pencil and just darken this edge up just a little bit. Just kind of darken that up and then just blend that in with my pencil, these lines that I made right here. Just smooth it on out. It's cool too if I can, you know, even get there with a palette knife, but it works better with a the pencil. Then just come around and darken those lines. But there's our chum bucket, guys. So if you have a request here at Mahalo, uh, like for a tutorial or how to draw something, uh, just send that into request at mahalo.com. We'll go ahead and get that for you. You know, that's what we do. It's kind of a cool site because 
I don't, it's kind of it's a real awesome site because if you want to learn something, uh, we teach you it for free and uh, we take requests. That's what we're all about. You know, we want to teach the people. We want to teach you guys. And you know, there's not a lot of sites out there like that. You know, it's like, hey, can you can you teach me this? You know, if I know how to do it, if I know how to draw it, I will. And if I don't know how to draw it, I will find someone that will. That's the best key to success. You know, it's like I may not know the answer, but you know what? find someone or find a way to get that answer for you all right guys i want to thank you for drawing with me if you guys have like i said the request request at mahalo.com mahalo design on facebook guys if you want to chat with me on facebook and talk about spongebob or the next video that you want to see or if you need some um you know drawing advice or something like that uh meet me on there we can talk and you'll see you'll see a handsome looking dude or Mahalo Design right there, you know, or Mahalo Tech too, look at that one. All right guys, thanks for watching.